Hello. Again, I've just spontaneously decided to grab the video because I'm sitting here, I'm inside at the moment looking through the window where I sit looking out. It's only three and a half degrees cold and drizzly but the colour in the garden is just stunning. So I thought I'm going to grab it and I'm going to go outside and we're going to have a look at the mostly erythronials in the rain and the cold the pyrus first of all a very old pyrus very well pruned and kept in check so it didn't become too big but beautiful bark but it's the erythroniums that even in this weather Look how perfectly adapted they are to this kind of inclement weather. The flowers forming these beautiful roofs and umbrellas over the inside. This is Crate and Cover Girl. No, I don't need to say too much, do I? Because it's, it's just everything. These are all self-seeding into beds. And they're self-seeding out into the path, as I showed you in the other ones. But really, I just want to share the colour. All across the garden. Up the paths. The different Oregon, oops, the different Oregonum hybrids. So one hybrid there, there's another one there. Over there, can I get this? That is Oregonum itself. And then the Revolutums, the pink. And then there's all sorts of hybrids. And then there's trilliums here. Disguising themselves as hellebores almost. so many. I see pulsatillas coming out down there. I don't know if I'm getting lots of rain on the lens. I'm certainly getting plenty of rain on the little viewing screen I'm seeing. It's getting wetter and wetter. But the rhododendrons and the anemones that we use that, that link all across the garden and the erythroniums take your eye and you move around from the ground up to the rhododendrons. See here the philodice is starting to come out. The erythronium americane and the little yellow ones of course they don't like the rain. They shut up tightly. But there over there I can see. Can I zoom in on it? Without going crashing through all the plants. The yellow. Erythronium. Grandiflorum, there's two types there. I can see the pale the yellow pollen and the brown pollen forms. So, so much to see. Much of it that I showed in the last one, but it just looks so different and I thought I would share it in the rain. 
The trilliums, of course, grandiflorum and the trilliums, they, they don't mind the rain. In fact, they rather like it. It's rather nice, the blackbird in the background providing the, the soundtrack. These weren't out the last time and they're still not out, but here they are popping up. This is um, some of the Eritronium japonicums. Getting wetter and wetter here. Things like the, as I say, there are plants that shut up in the rain, the Erythronium americanum and the anemones, many of them they shut their little flowers, but others keep going. It's just the scenes that the captures you, you know, as you look at individual beds and then you get areas where the garden layout, it all blends into one. And so this kind of gardening is for all weather. Every bed comes alive, it's got different characters, different years, different plants do better than others. The plants all don't do well every single year necessarily. Some of them need to take a, take a time out, a year out, to build their strength back, to give us the flowers. But it's not only the flowers we should be appreciating the plants for. It's also, of course, the foliage that will be with us for so much longer in a year, in, in a year, in our season. These flowers here, these leaves, the veratrum won't flower until August or September, even into October. Giant leaves are some of the podophyllums. There's lots of different podophyllums in this bed. There's arisemas, which I haven't seen much of poking up yet. Having said that, we've got some nice trilliums. Here, as you can see some, having said of arisema, that often the first one to come is the Nepenthoides. It's wonderful. Weird plants, they're starting to poke through. But much of it you'll have seen in the, in the video that I put on just the other week. But it was just the light and the colour, the softness. When the sun's out we get those very harsh contrasts between light and shade. And while we can, with our brains, adjust, cameras can't do a, a, that same adjustment of the to balance out those contrasts 
clear as in this light. There's very little contrast, there's no shadows. Light and darker. Balanced out. And we have the wonderful colours of the erythroniums that hang their heads and create these wonderful parasols to protect their plants, protect their flowers. So that's it. I'm not going to go on much longer. That's just a brief wander around to try and share with you what I was just enjoying sitting, drinking a cup of tea and eating a biscuit. So let me leave you with the final images now of the erythronium, the mass colours. So thanks again and bye for now.